Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a abstract scene here and it's a watercolor abstract so something a little bit different from what I normally do and um, I'm going to show you a little technique that I use basically with a credit card. It's an interesting little technique uh, where you just basically squeeze the paints onto a card or a little bit of cardboard. Uh, you can pick a few different colors. For this one I've used a blue and a couple of dark colors. So I've used a bit of cerulean blue, um, I think a little bit of lavender as well, which is kind of similar uh, tone to cerulean blue in terms of lightness. And then we've got a few other colors as well which are darker. So basically what I've done here is I've wet the paper um, with a spray bottle and it's really important to make sure that paper is super wet before you even start because that allows everything to sort of run around all the colors to um, look really nice on the paper mixed together effectively so most of this is going to be done in fact all of it's going to be done wet into wet and what's going to happen afterwards is uh, basically once you've got a little bit of uh, drying on the paper you can actually go through and um, you know add in some figures, maybe some sharper objects and trees and stuff like that later, but it's not a huge deal to start off with and we can just leave it all wet to wet if you want. So notice I'm wetting the front and the back of the paper. So I'm doing this so that the paper just doesn't buckle uh, when I go in with the paint. So it's just a little technique that I use if I want to get that paper really flat and um, it does take a long time for that bit of paper to dry. I've popped it on a bit of um, plastic. I don't know what the name of this plastic. I think it's it's got some brand name, but it's not a big deal. If you've got a bit of cardboard, um, I just reuse this bit of plastic. For, and um, as you can see, I'm just I'm spraying that bit of paper down quite a lot so that I can get it really, really nice and wet and the way that you can tell if it's wet enough is uh, basically the paper will have a kind of uh, sheen to it so if you look at it from an angle you'll just be able to see that kind of reflectivity on the paper okay now you can see the credit card that I've got some credit cards basically like a, a transport card that I use here in Melbourne I've got a few colors on there like I said cerulean I've got a bit of black um, Payne's gray and uh, you see how I drag it across the paper basically and I'm trying to get the bit of the blue so that it um, appears more at the top of the page. That way I can get this indication of maybe a bit of sky. And I'm using the card as well to just draw in some abstract shapes of some trees or something on the right hand side and spread that downwards. I've also got some orange, a little bit of uh, geophyte uh, in there as well which is a brownish type of color. And what I'm doing here is that I'm, I'm taking that spray bottle and I'm just giving it a little bit of a spray in areas. And I've noticed some of that blue in there hasn't completely dissolved. So I've taken that a little brush out and um, just started to spread out a bit of that blue so that it dissolves more. Okay, it's all wet into wet at this stage. So you can see I'm sort of moving that around a bit taking that card again and I'm moving some of that paint down. I do want to get a bit more into the foreground. The colors that you choose are really important as well. So you want to choose colors that are a good combination of cool and warm and also different tones. Some colors have naturally lighter tones no matter how dark you, you know, how thick of the paint you use. So things like yellow, orange, cerulean blue you're not going to be able to get that that nice dark rich color that you get with something like Payne's gray um, you know ultramarine mixed with burnt umber that kind of thing I've got a little spray bottle here and you can still influence bits and pieces and it's just a really relaxing and fun exercise that you can do if you've got some time or you know it doesn't take that long this took me about I'd say about 10 minutes to to get this done and it helps you to understand wet and wet work by forcing you to yeah just work wet into wet choosing a few colors 
teaches you a bit about composition as well, what colors work with what, and you know different abstract shapes, light and dark. You know, with an abstract landscape, there's not all that much in, that you need to really put in there. A bit of sky, a bit of land, maybe some indications of trees. You know, it's not a not a whole lot. And here I've just grabbed a smaller brush and a little bit of neutral tint. And I'm just dropping in some branches here for a tree on the right hand side. And I'll do one here on the left hand side as well. Notice I'm holding that brush right at the end to get some really loose lines in. If you like this video, check out the playlist on the right. I release new tutorials and art supply reviews each week to help you progress faster in your watercolour journey.